Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are asking support from our master, our Shaykh, Sahib al-Sayf, Shaykh Abdul Karim al-Kabir Siya Rabbani, to send us something that is going to benefit us. Tariqat al Sohbah fil Hayri min Jamiyat. Our Tariqat is based on association. This is necessary from time to time. The question that you have, what is the fitna of the job? The confusion of Dajjal is to say there is no haq and there is no battle. That is all good. Everything is okay. And that confusion, it is in everything. The first thing that Dajjal is going to lift is going to confuse you about is haq is shariat it is the law and the traditions of the prophet so he's going to confuse you about that how can he confuse you isn't everything open not everything because the man who closes his eyes not even 1,000 suns can convince him that there is light that's why it becomes confusing because he closes his eyes not because there is no light because he closes his eyes and Dajjal is going to train people to confuse them to close your eyes. That is, Haq, close your eyes. There is no such thing as Haq or Batil. Because Allah is Rahman. Allah is Rahim. Allah is most merciful. Allah is most compassionate. Allah is not going to judge. But we say Allah's name is Hakim. Well, not in that way. He accepts everything. He accepts everyone. Then we say, what happened to the Fars that is placed on everyone to encourage something which is good and to forbid something that is evil. So there is good and evil. Dajjal says there's no good and evil. Who are the people who are saying this? Meaning, who are the Halifas of Dajjal? Let's put aside the world of unbelief from music to entertainment. Uh, the world of unbelief that they are making people to think in certain ways and to force them to think in certain ways. Let's put aside the media. Then let's put aside the lifestyle that is not making your mind and your heart to open up. The lifestyle of what? The lifestyle of, say, your diet. The food that you eat that is making you to become more animal instead of becoming more human. That is putting more love of this dunya into your heart and just to satisfy your desires. Let's put aside that world of unbelief. Let's look at the world of Islam. Who are the Halifas of Dajjal and what are the characteristics? It's a very big question. Never forget, the Holy Prophet ﷺ had told his Sahabi Kiram everything that is going to happen until Judgment Day. He had told them. What happened to all that knowledge? You think that kind of knowledge is going to appear on Google? on the internet. That kind of knowledge was not even preserved in writing. That type of knowledge that the Sultan of that kind of knowledge amongst the Sahabi Kiram, Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, he took all that knowledge that he knew and he wrote, he burnt it. And he said that knowledge now 
we will only give it to people whose hearts are pure and clean, spreading it, transferring it from heart to heart. Those who believe, they're going to say. So, one of the characteristics, one of the signs, the confusion of Dajjal, Holy Prophet he had said, that Mahdi alayhi salam is going to appear. And whoever that he's going to fight, those are the agents of Dajjal. What did he say? One of the things that he's going to fight against. 70,000 scholars in Islam. Mahdi alayhi salam is going to pull out his sword of truth and he's going to cut it, those heads of hypocrisy and unbelief, 70,000 scholars in Islam. <laughs> those are the ones responsible for bringing the Ummah more towards unbelief. Those are the ones who are responsible for hiding the truth. Those are the ones responsible that they are holding on to the coats of their tyrants. May Allah not test us with them. Those are the ones who say there is no difference now between Haq and Batil. Don't say there is any difference. We must all love each other. We are very weak ones, but we are holding on to the Juba of our Shaykh. And he is holding on to the Juba of his Shaykh, reaching all the way, 1400 years back to the Holy Prophet wasalam, As long as you hold on to that, you are never going to deviate from that. There are so many other characteristics, signs of the fitna of the Jal, of the confusion. But this is enough for us to understand. The confusion is, there is no haq and there is no batil. We are all equal. Everything is okay. Everything is good. Everything is love. We fear from our Lord. Because we love Him. Yes, and we love our Holy Prophet wasalam, and we fear to be disobedient to him. We're not just going to be singing in this month nats and nashids and kasidas and maulids non-stop. We are going to look at our lives, how we have disobeyed the Holy Prophet wasalam. We're going to cry about it and we're going to try to fix it. If we try to step on our ego for the sake of the Prophet wasalam, that is better than spending billions and billions of hours and days <laughs> reciting salawat. Understand? May Allah make us to become stronger and to become more sincere, inshallah. May Allah bring this tyranny down. May Allah make us to become the soldiers of Mahdi alayhi salam. May Allah bring all the believers together. May Allah bring unbelievers down. May Allah make us to be the people of truth and to find other peoples of truth in whichever way, whichever uh, path that they are on for us to come together and for us to be able to bring down this cruelty and this tyranny that is everywhere in this world right now that is happening to these children of men. May Allah forgive me and bless you for the sake of the Holy Prophet wasalam, our Grand Shaykh and our Shaykh Al Fatiha. So this much is enough inshallah. Wa bin Allahu Tafiq Al Fatiha. 
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله